Hey, hey Libra, intuitive soul coach here with your August 2023 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can find that link in the description box below. All right, Libra, this is going to be a powerful month for you. Your key themes here, we have heart's desire followed by bliss, and we also have breakthrough. Look at all this orange and yellow energy. This is all about the sacral and the solar plexus chakra. So I do feel like there's a lot of happiness coming your way, a lot of pleasure, adventure. Now you did receive two bonus cards as well and I almost put them back but Spirit said no wait they're part of the reading here. Most people get three main themes. You received these bonus cards that came out together and they are mending and belief system. So this is a little bit of the backstory of why you have heart's desire, bliss and breakthrough is because something that you once believed to be true whether this was a limiting belief of yours, it was some programming based on conditioning, maybe it was the way that you thought about a person, the way that you talk to yourself. It can be your own connection with spirit that you've healed and mended, but there is a situation here where you're coming together and you have the mending card. So I absolutely love this combination and this makes complete sense as to why you have this heaven on earth card showing up as your overall energy for August because this can be forgiving, it can be psychic surgery, healing, repairing a situation, therapy. I really love this. So something within you, you are upgrading an energy that may have felt a little bit on the lower vibrational side because it may have been challenging, Libra. It may have been painful, whether it was a heartache, a heartbreak, a loss of a loved one. It could be some family beliefs childhood dynamics, something that you may have incorporated into your energy field along the way. There is a realization, there's a realization coming to the surface here with this breakthrough. You're having discoveries about you, other people, about the world around you within, right? This happens from within. And this is going to lead to great victory, great advancement, epiphanies, and again, moments of truth. These moments of truth are leading you directly into your heart's desires. This can be passion projects. It can be making decisions from the heart. It can be focusing on heart health, which you have here, literally the mending card. So if some of you have had suffered from maybe depression, anxiety, bitterness, anger, resentment. Maybe you had built up a little bit of a wall on that heart space because something hurt you uh, very badly in the past. I feel like there is, again, a moment of truth coming in here for you. This is about you expanding, loving what it is that you do, loving the relationships that you are in. And Libra, your final card is the bliss. This is like the sun card in tarot, but I feel like when I created this card, it was the sun amplified by a million, right? It's creating that heaven on earth, which we have the ability to do. This is about heading towards a life of happiness, a life of sunshine, joy, freedom, whether that's emotional freedom, financial freedom, spiritual freedom to do as you wish and to live truly in your soul alignment here. This is fulfillment. This is the yes card. So whatever it is, Libra, that you have been wanting to open your heart to, this is a big yes written all over your energy field. So let's dive into your reading here. I'm really excited even within the main card showing up. Now we have the Lionsgate portal on 8-8. Some of you may have Leo in your chart whether your rising sign, your moon sign, maybe it's your sun sign, maybe you're a cross watcher here, but I do sense that August is going to be a very pivotal month for you in 2023. It could be one of your most profound months of the year as well. At least the top three is what I'm getting here. Now, Libra, you're coming in with the King of Swords. This is your masculine energy. Whether you are female or male, it does not matter. This is about you taking action. 
you've thought about something within the heart and now you are using that brilliant control center which is called the brain right we are you i'm a libra as well you're using that mind of yours to move forward and to create that heaven on earth there's a blend though it's not just the mind you've already put your heart into a situation or healed from something that had been challenging to your heart but now you're moving forward because you've done the work here now you're using that that air that intellect now you're moving forward here so king of swords also can represent belief systems because sometimes that king of swords he can learn something very early on and he sticks with what he knows he can be a little routine sometimes the king of swords is very intelligent very experienced he's not interested in games he's not interested in fantasy but i do feel because you have the bliss card which it does talk about magic here or at least I'm getting a magical feeling, I feel like you are opening yourself up to changing some of those beliefs that are no longer welcoming to where you're going. They're no longer part of what you need to believe in in order to create this, this happiness or this heaven on earth. So again, if there's some sort of limiting belief or programming that was based on something from a long, long time ago, I feel like you are, you're taking a look at that and saying, I need to shake this routine up a little bit. So you are using your brilliant mind to set some new, some new beliefs in that mind of yours that's going to allow you to bring more balance because look at that the scales are right there libra and they're balanced so again belief system king of swords this is all coming beautifully together i do feel like you if you've been dealing with any legal issues or for those of you that may have had your your emotions on lockdown because of something that had been painful maybe you haven't been able to cry for years or maybe you weren't able to show your emotions you could have suppressed them or numbed them there could have been challenges or struggles that caused you to to get very uh very maybe hard in your thinking that's about to shift because you are dropping down to your heart center here and it may sound a little bit counterintuitive for for what we're talking about but i feel like you're blending the the mind and the heart beautifully to create this magical flow because that's what it takes that's what it consists of here now you have the eight of wands the moment you decide to shake up this old belief or this routine right the moment you decide to do that things take off quickly here for you some of you could also be dealing with a gemini king of swords energy it could be another air sign in your chart but i feel like there's some sort of truth that you accept or there's an awareness around a situation because you do have this realization this moment of truth showing up with the breakthrough so once you realize something whether you are the archetype of this king of swords or this is someone in your life there is an action plan that's going to accelerate quite quickly for you uh, acceleration this is about getting back on track some of you if you were in a relationship here I feel like it, it may have spiraled uh, there could have been a lot of pain involved in this relationship because of the mending you may have told yourself that this person uh, was going to do something bad uh, again or you may have said to yourself well this person is always going to be emotionally physically spiritually unavailable right some of you were in a deep soulmate or karmic contract maybe even a twin flame union here but i do sense that you are mending and you're healing from any of those relationship pains or setbacks so this is really beautiful you're telling yourself a new story here which is wonderful because something was going round and round you have the never-ending story showing up now mid month you have beautiful energy ten of coins and three of coins partnered up here i mean the ten of coins is also this bliss card it's a very beautiful energy to be in it's about lasting security it is about taking the steps and you have the three of coins that is actually taking a step right towards the ten of coins so whether you feel like you are three out of ten on your way towards achieving this i feel like you will you have it right here so ten of coins is about 
stability within the family dynamic, financial security, wealth, abundance, building a legacy. It's all about your long-term goals, Libra. So you're taking steps to make this happen. She, again, is walking right towards that. But I love that she's standing on a pile of books there because what that means is you've gained the knowledge, you've gained the wisdom through life experience in order to reach this stability. I feel like you're a lot closer than the three of coins. I feel like this represents that there could be someone coming into your world who is very pivotal on your journey. Okay, threes uh, can represent uh, creativity, harmony, union, birth, coming together here, union. Uh, this is about building a new foundation because a lesson has finally been learned. And there is this shift here happening because you, you may have had to repeat a lesson more than once, Libra. This could have been in your career, in your relationships, within your health. Something may have showed up again and again and you thought, how the heck can I get rid of this? How can I learn this? This lesson fully so I can take one step closer to manifest those dreams. Well, you've learned it here, Libra. So pat yourself on the back. All right. Your last cards here in the tarot, we have the strength card, which I'm loving. This is actually one of my favorite illustrated strength cards that I've ever seen. I'm absolutely in love with this deck. It's the Lightworkers deck. I'll link all of the ones used in this reading in the description box below. But you have the strength and the judgment. I mean, wow. Two major arcana showing up here for you with the Ten of Coins. This is a really big energy this month. The strength card, look at that. He is rushing right towards judgment. The strength is Leo energy, right? The strength is unquestioned confidence. And again, remember what we said in the very beginning, sacral chakra, which is about two inches below the navel. And that can be relationships that we have with others, with ourselves, our creativity, our passion, our drive. And then we have our solar plexus, which is our powerhouse, our confidence. And that lies within that a belly region. And the strength card here, I absolutely feel without a doubt that your confidence is growing and building here. You are rushing. It's almost like you're running, like he's running there. I love that he does not have, look at that, he's missing a limb. He's missing a limb. How powerful is that? Where instead of letting himself feel wheel, uh, wheelchair bound, Instead of him saying, my life is over, he's saying, my life is just beginning. With the judgment card here, he's using this situation to strengthen his resolve and reserve. He is using this to his advantage. And he's actually probably more fit and stronger than he ever was in this prior life. And we'll call it a prior life because I'm sure living with a leg and without a leg is two different lives. It may feel like you have to learn all over again how to live. You have to learn all over again how to walk, right? To take start with that first baby step in order to get to the point where he can run with that prosthetic limb is powerful, powerful beyond words here. And the judgment card is about you earning this reward because you didn't tell yourself life is over, right? You told yourself life is just beginning. And even though it may have felt like a lifetime ago when you went through some of these ups and downs and these challenges and these struggles, and some of them were hella hard, right? Some of them really tested who you were on all levels. Some of you were lonely. You may have withdrawn. You may have rejected. Now, I'm not saying that this, this guy had a journey that was all uh, magical, right? No, he has seen the worst of the worst days and that's what's allowing him to see this new life from a new lens because he's strong enough, he's lived it. So all of those judgments that maybe you've passed on others, passed on yourself, or you felt people were judging you, this is about you overcoming that adversity, overcoming those human emotions of lower vibrations within the mending card here that we see. This is about you, Libra, having a second chance to change your life for the better and head towards your purpose, your calling, and to go through this major awakening. Some of you had a near-death experience. For some of you, there was a life-altering situation. For others of you, it was as simple as you woke up one day and said, no more 
right? And I don't want to say as simple because regardless of how that awakening comes to you, the fact is it comes to you and you have to make the choice, you and you alone. And of course, your higher self and your spiritual team, but you make this choice here to change your life for the better. No longer judge yourself or even care if other people are judging. Maybe other people here have said, oh, poor, poor Libra, poor Libra, Uh uh-uh, none of that poor Libra stuff. Libra is making a comeback here. And this is all about you healing the wounds not avoiding change, but embracing it and starting and saying yes to this brand new life, Libra. So this is beautiful. It's powerful. I feel it. I hope you feel it. If you guys are liking this, please hit that thumbs up button. When it comes to love, you have stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you seek because some of you have been through a broken heart. Maybe you've been single because of that broken heart or maybe you've had some beliefs that have left you in a state of focusing your priorities on other things besides love. It happens, right? We have those human experiences that can put our heart on lockdown. For others of you, you may have lost that belief of, you know, wanting or needing to find that soulmate here on earth. Once we stop obsessing or putting so much energy towards it, we see things start to show up for us, right? Sometimes we actually push them away unintentionally because of fears, because of worries, because of that belief system that may be challenging to you to reprogram. Stay optimistic. There's something shifting here on a cellular level is what I just heard, cellular level. Now you also have the getting to know each other card. Now, if you are looking for love, awesome, because I sense that uh, you could meet someone here in the next few months where you do build a strong, solid foundation with, but I do sense the majority of you watching here, there could be someone that you already know. There's someone already in your energy field, whether you are married, whether you are partnered up, perhaps you know who this person is. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Now, even if you've been married for a while or if you've been with this person for a while, there's something here with hitting that refresh button. It's like a browser that just has that wheel spinning and spinning and spinning, right? It's not reloading. And sometimes you just need to to click out and reload it, or sometimes you need to hit that refresh button. And that's what I'm sensing here. It's important to hit that refresh button because you may need to reignite a spark, a passion, that sacral chakra, there is a need for more pleasure, more sensuality, more sexuality. This is about you enjoying the people that you you live with or the people that are in your energy field, right? And for others of you, this is about reaching out, getting to know people on a deeper level instead of just surface, because I feel like you've surfaced stuff for too long, Libra. This is time for you to go deeper, okay? Deeper, even within yourself. This can be about you getting to know you, Libra, the masculine side of you, King of Swords. And lastly, you have, you deserve love. You are lovable. Some of you with the strength card here, you had to face some sort of judgment day. There could have been something that you did to a person or something that a person did to you. And I am getting here with the judgment. This is about a rite of passage, a rebirth. You may have given someone a second chance here, Libra. There could be a breakthrough between you and another person. This could be baby steps along the way, three of coins to the 10 of coins. It's like you're starting over. I'm not necessarily starting over, but the three of pentacles can be about teamwork, cooperation. It is about both of you working together to create this 10 of pentacles instead of one person doing all the work, okay? Know that you're lovable. You deserve love. All right. When it comes to career, wealth, abundance, and money, you had a lot of cards come out. And right away, you have the winged creatures, butterfly and the wings showing up here. So I absolutely get that. Libra, if you've been struggling with money and finances, it may be a little bit having to do with that belief system. Some of you are healing from some debt, some some choices that you've made in the past, Okay, some consequences, we'll call them. 
but you have the strength to overcome some of those money issues, right? This can be your business taking off. You may be profiting a lot in the month of August. This is spiritual work. A lot of you are uh, spiritual healers as well. You are embracing your life purpose. This is your mission here on earth. I feel whether you make money on it or not, a lot of you, if you've turned this into a business, it's something that's going to going to go above and beyond, but there could be a shift in the way that you think about how to do business, about how the energy exchange of currency comes in for you. But if you've struggled, you're rising above that here with the wings. So I love it because it goes hand in hand with the 10 of coins, stability, long-term growth, bliss, heart's desire, spiritual work and mission. I mean, this is big. You also have the butterfly. There could be some sudden changes. Again, whether it is uh, an experience that you have, whether it was an NDE, near-death experience, or whether it was something a little more subtle but very powerful and impactful, okay, this could be changes in the way that you spend, in the way that you save. There could be a short-term loan that you take out for something much needed or much wanted, right? You may have a career Libra in the arts, in the uh, movement, right? You may be moving around or contemplating relocating. This could be a temporary job or making work more fun. Again, if something be has become too stagnant or too routine, that's about to change here. So I absolutely see big changes coming in. I'm also seeing that someone may have, may become recognized or noticed, okay? Uh, I'm getting here whether it's a headhunting type of energy or your work gets noticed by someone bigger and they say, wow, I really love Libra's work. Check this out. Check this out. And they are actually advertising for you as well. So it could be free advertising coming in for you business owners. We have the heart card. This does talk about emotional spending. If some of you struggle with money, with spending, maybe overspending, that could be something you're healing here. Belief system and mending coming together. Maybe you, you shop too much on Amazon or maybe you buy things that you don't always need. There's something here with you being supported. I feel like there could be joint finances available here for you. Some of you are counselors, guides, or you absolutely have a job that you love. And we have the heart's desire. So this is about loving what you do. Now, if you don't have a job that you love, if you're putting your heart and soul into something that you just, there's no passion, there's no fire, there's no pizzazz. I feel like there is a reignition happening here for you where you either feel empowered to give this idea or this opportunity, this business, this career path, a second chance, or you decide to pivot. You decided to take what you've learned and maybe even help other people out somehow, shape, form, fashion, whatever it is for you here, Libra. And lastly, you have the frame. After a lot of ups and downs with career, with money, with your belief system, there's something more steady, more balanced coming in here for you. This is about getting organized. This is about accomplishments. Now, you may have a career in the art and design. This can be more home-oriented. Some of you are self-employed. I feel like you could be gaining a certification, going back to school, teaching a class. There could be something around getting certified or learning a little bit more about what you're curious about. It could even be mastering your craft. They're giving me eight of coins energy here. So putting your, your time and your energy into accomplishments, into what it is that you want to see grow, into what it is that you want to learn, what you're curious about in order to build it up, build your business or help other people. Okay. Some of you may decide to go into something that has to do with, again, art and design, helping uh, homes. It could be building. I'm getting here, maybe building new homes. It could be real estate as well. You do have here counseling. You do have fun, making work more fun, more creative, even dressing up a little, a little bit fancier or fun or colorful at work, maybe wearing a new set of earrings or shoes or jewelry uh, that you haven't wore before. I'm getting here just bringing a little bit of pizzazz to the mix here. And for a lot of you, I mean, you have this energy of of spiritual work, life purpose, mission. So if you don't know what that is, just take a little bit of what you are interested in and take a class on it. Just open up to discovery because this is going to change, shift, and alter your destiny in big ways. All right, Libra. 
You had two cards that your higher self wanted to connect with you on. Your soul truth. What is your body telling you right now? Our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort. Our body sends messages for us to look more deeply. See the trapped emotions, the lurking fears and beliefs that limit us. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get that healing on. Yeah, there's something here your body is telling you. So whether you have a stiff neck, okay, maybe your neck is talking about flexibility, maybe even a little bit of stubbornness. Perhaps you have some lower back pain. Maybe you're worried about finances, right? Maybe your knee's been acting up. Are you fearing moving forward? Are you, are you fearing taking that next step? So take a look at what your body is trying to tell you at this time. And you can get the book, Heal Your Body by Louise Hay and find the answers toward which your body is guiding you. So pay attention. The body speaks to us all the time. And when we are curious, when we're curious to see what that connection is all about, we become aware and then we have breakthrough moments. Next up, Libra, what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want now? Look at this. I mean, belief system is huge. So I'm so grateful that Spirit said keep these cards because there's some sort of belief that you are mending, healing, upgrading, or discarding altogether. What story are you telling yourself? When you think about your dreams, what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind? If you are not living the life you desire, it's because a part of you doesn't believe it's possible. Right? What do I say about the word impossible, Libra? The word impossible itself spells I'm possible. So instead of telling yourself, I can't, turn that into I can. Instead of you telling yourself that it's not possible, tell yourself I'm possible, right? I'm the walking miracle because you have this bliss, this creating heaven on earth, but it start, starts with that belief system. It's time to upgrade. Look your belief in the eye. Where did it come from? What new beliefs are you ready to adopt in its place? And how will this change your results. Remember, your belief is the root of your result. Own it, heal it, upgrade it. Powerful, Libra. All right, you have this never-ending story card. Some of you may be 37 years old. You may be born on the third or the seventh or have maybe a life path, three, seven, or you are in a, a three or seven personal year. There could also be ones, one personal year, one life path, or you are definitely heading towards a brand new beginning here. So never ending story, you've wrapped up a cycle that we've talked about here. Again, because the three of coins, if a lesson went unlearned in the past, which I feel like it did for some of you, but the three of coins actually is showing up upright here. So it means you're, you're learning the lesson. Her foot is on that next book, that next step. So I do sense here that the revolving door that you've been going around, the repetitiveness, the same relationship, the same career, the same darn routine that you want to shake up, you're shifting that. And I love this because you can see here at the bottom, there is an oracle and all of the messages on this oracle, the ones that are at least spirit is highlighting and it may be too small for you to see, but it all points to yes. And you actually have yes in quotation on the bliss card here. So there's a big old yes in your future here, Libra. Maybe some of you are tying the knot. Maybe you're saying yes. I hope, spoiler alert, if you're getting uh, proposed to, act surprised. Okay. Now, Libra, we're going to open up that third eye chakra for just a moment here. So please take a deep, deep breath in from the solar plexus chakra. We're going to get messages from your spirit animals. But at this time, we're going to see what animals come to your mind's eye. So again, a nice deep breath in from the belly area. Release through the mouth. And as you're releasing, I want you to close your eyes and focus on your third eye, the area between your eyebrows. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in that mind's eye. Whether this is an animal that is wild, magical, mystical, domesticated, whatever animal is showing up for you. There is no right or wrong answer, Libra. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. 
And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment section box below and I will enter you personally into that giveaway. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, again, I'm loving your animals here. You have two creatures with wings right away. You have the dragonfly, which we already see here, a winged creature, and you also have the butterfly once again. So some of you, again, we're seeing 1-1 one, one here. This could be 1-1-1 one, one, one that you're seeing often, 11-11 11, 11, ones, because that's gonna represent new beginnings and manifesting those dreams into reality. I, you could be born on the 11th, the 22nd, the 29th, or you could be 55 years old. We have the butterfly spirit, which says transformation is beautiful. And you have been going through a very transformative period in your life, Libra. And this is going to be beautiful. You're stepping into an energy here of success because I love that the and look at this, you have yellow and orange once again on the butterflies. So you may benefit from working with carnelian, working with citrine crystals. You could wear more yellow, more orange. This can really help you focus on those sacral and solar plexus chakras. You can meditate on those colors as well. Wear more of them, eat more fruits and vegetables such as oranges, bananas, things of that nature. Dragonfly spirit says truth transcends illusion your personal soul's truth is going to cut through any illusions that you have created within your belief system okay so that is all this is all about your own truth what is true for you libra is it true that you are a, a divine spark of of love absolutely right are you worthy of love absolutely do you believe that love is available to you? Absolutely. Start believing in these things because that is your personal truth. The, the illusion piece of maybe a, a conditioning or an experience that you've had is just the layer of a belief that may or may not be helping you attract what it is that you desire. So truth will transcend that illusion every time. And the King of Swords is here to help you do that. He's not interested in those illusions. He's all, all about the truth. Giraffe spirit, see the bigger picture. Yeah, this is what you're able to do. From that butterfly perspective, you're able to see through the lens of awareness. A lot of you Librans are spiritual seekers, spiritual light workers. You have intuitive gifts such as clairvoyance, clairsentience, you're highly empathic. Libra, this is about you being able to see things that maybe others cannot, but that's okay because this is your journey. This is about you being able to see things on your journey. And there's going to be some new realizations, some new discoveries, some new advancements because you're able to see things in a new light. Next we have snake spirit, time to heal. Yeah, what's happening here is you're shedding your old skin so you can grow a new one. There's that judgment energy as well. So this is about you forgiving the past, right? Whatever has happened in the past, it's time for you to release it fully. Now the snake is never, ever, ever, ever going to crawl underneath that shedded skin and say, I want you back, right? I want to wear that old skin. No, it wants to get that skin off of it because it's itchy and it's, it's sticky and it's just bugging him, right? He wants it off. He wants to shed it. Because he knows that what is growing in its place is a new shed where he can feel safe and secure and comfortable. But he has to do that healing work in order to shed. And I feel like this is the transformation, Libra, that you are going through is working on shedding the old story, the old life, the old patterns, the old habits and entering into a new one. Beautiful energy here. Last but not least, we have a couple of cards from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. You actually had two cards come out here. And again, Libra, most, most of the signs have only received one card here and only three main ones, but you have a lot of extras. So again, you're, you're quite extra this month, Libra. So a lot of you are really transforming. This could be like five months in one this month. So get ready. It's going to be big. It's going to be powerful. Now you have here the beloved 
And you also have the journey, the journey. So I'm going to read card five first because some of you have absolutely, without a doubt, undergone some major challenges. I will read the medicine, which is the, the advice, protective advice, and then I'll read the invitation as well. Be careful with romantic love, the kind of love you fall in and out of. Own all the projections you have placed upon the person you are dreaming of. Remember that they are only mirroring back your own deep longings rather than revealing their true selves. If you fail to notice this, be prepared to walk through the fire of strong emotions once again. We don't want to do that, Libra. We have this never-ending story. We have this lesson that you can learn. So this is powerful because, again, if you fail to notice this, which I feel like you're going to see things from a higher perspective, you're going to walk through the fire, which is sacral chakra energy, which is really highlighted and illuminated in your reading. The invitation for you to not repeat the same story. Accept the invitation to learn through the path of love. Expand your being through union with another. When you recognize the beloved in another, you call forth their highest and purest nature. Follow the path of love. Powerful. For those of you that are dealing with some heart connections, there's your advice. All right, we also have card 29. Didn't we just say something about 29? I thought that showed up for you. Maybe in your power animals here. Let's see. Yeah, the giraffe. This is about seeing the big picture. So there could be a correlation between seeing this big picture and the journey. So this is for the rest of you Libras that aren't dealing with love. The journey is calling you, but the timing is premature. Collecting postcards or fantasies of where you want to go may take over your focus and make you miss your destiny. Other things must be completed first, or you may still be attached to knowing the destination. Remember that the point of the journey is not the destination, it's who you will become as you are transformed along the way. Do not confuse the inner and the outer journey. Beautiful. And lastly, the invitation for you, Libra, it's time to embark on the great journey. It's here, right here, right now. Do not linger in the port where dis when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led true. Even when you are not sure of where you are going, it is the departure that is most important. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. So there's something here with you starting this new journey, right? You may not have that opportunity to do so for a while. Sometimes those ships pass. Sometimes we can't just jump right back on the bandwagon immediately after. We must say yes to the opportunity. And we see that here. If you say yes to this journey, to this new life, this new world, this new discovery, this new adventure, this new relationship, whatever this may be for you, Libra, you must say yes, because this is going to lead you to a path of self-discovery, of personal truth, of happiness, of creating that heaven on earth. So again, some of you are being called to lead this journey, to say yes, to go within, to go within the heart's desires. It's It will lead to the breakthrough. If you want to keep repeating the same old pattern, you by all means can. You know, tarot is not set in stone. If you don't want to say yes, you don't have to say yes. But I have a feeling if you're here watching this today, Libra, that a lot of you are being called. To